Open a creaky door in a haunted house, and your spine will tingle. Anything could appear. We open doors into the future every moment of our lives. What lies behind them? How can we prepare for the unknown when, as St. Paul writes, we see through a glass darkly? This book is about the hidden face of time, the parts that seem to lie in darkness because we haven't been there yet. It's about how we try to imagine and prepare for and deal with whatever lurks in the strange place we describe as the future. Trying to make sense of the future can feel like clutching at air. And yet, as airy as it seems, the future shapes an enormous amount of our thinking and feeling and doing. So much anxiety and effort, so much hope, and so much creativity are directed at the future. Indeed, it may be that most of our thinking is actually about possible futures. Most of the time we react to likely futures on autopilot. This is everyday future thinking. It is familiar and banal, and it is carried out by biological and neurological processes and algorithms that feel intuitive because they mostly work below consciousness. This is the future thinking we deploy when crossing a road and calculating if an oncoming semi-trailer is going to hit us. We really face the mystery of the future when we set out in new directions, when a baby is born, when we face a sudden crisis, when we move to a new country or try to imagine the future of planet Earth. This is conscious future thinking. And once we start thinking consciously and carefully about it, we soon realize how weird the future is. This book describes how philosophers and scientists and theologians have thought about the future. It discusses how other creatures, from bacteria to bats and baobab trees, deal with the same deep mystery using immensely sophisticated biochemical and neurological machinery. It explores the unique way in which our own species thinks collectively and often consciously about the future and tries to shape it. Finally, it describes some of the futures we can imagine today, for the next few decades, and in billions of years' time. We will end with speculations about the end of time.